Yeah. 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 Okay. So we just talked about uh, compound microscope where there are two lenses. One is objective. One is eye. Object. Uh, an object is kept near the objective lens, and its image is formed here. This real image works as the object for the eye lens, and its another image is formed here. Okay. So based. So on this diagram, you will do a derivation, and you will be able to find that uh, when it's kept at near point, the magnification is one plus d by f e, and when it's kept at infinity, it is. This, okay. Actually, this is also near point only. This is M E one plus uh, D by F E, and the overall uh, magnification is M O into M E. So we two lenses I'm using. So this will come out to be this one minus B naught by F naught into one plus D by F E. Okay. ये derivation तो भाई करने पड़ेगी. और ये डेरिवेशन याद करने वाले ही है मतलब याद करने वाले इन द सेंस यू कैन गेट इट इन अ फ्लो बट इट्स अ सीक्वेंशियल डेरिवेशन व्हेन इट इज एट इंफिनिटी दिस ओके एल क्या है यहां पे एल इज द लेंथ ऑफ ट्यूब ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप व्हिच इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन Objective lens and the other lens, eye lens. Okay. फिर ये question आ गया वैसा वाला. अब astronomical refracting telescope. Now this is a telescope. यहाँ पे भी similar है, but objective lens का focal length बड़ा है, इसका focal length छोटा है. Parallel rays आती हैं, क्योंकि दूर से आनी है, तो almost parallel है. So where will this create an image? एट फोकस ऑफ दी ऑब्जेक्टिव लेंस तो यहाँ पे एक छोटी सी इमेज वो बना लेगा ठीक है उसको फिर आई लेंस हम देखेंगे तो हमको दिख जाएगा ये खत्म हो गया चैप्टर यू आर ओनली सम ऑफ द ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट आर देर इन योर कोर्स कौन सा सिलेबस में एक बार चेक करके बताओ This telescope and all is there. I think, but astro is. Do you have astronomical telescope or not? We do. You have astronomical telescope. Yeah. What about reflecting telescope? We have its diagram and um, the advantages of a reflecting telescope. Ah, इसका वैसे भी quantification नहीं होता normally. तो इसका भी concept मैं समझा देता हूँ. इन सब को draw वगैरह तुम्हें करना पड़ेगा. तो यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है कि the rays are coming from infinity. reflects from this piece from this piece to this ye in logon ne ulta bana diya right this is the mirror which mirror which mirror is this arya a uh, concave nahi convex no way convex because it's um, reflecting reflecting from here theek hai to usko idhar hona chahiye tha polish karna anyway yahan pe reflect ho ke ये यहाँ पे आई पीस पे आया और यहाँ पे दिख जाएगा ठीक है तो दिस इज ऑब्जेक्टिव मिरर दिस इज सेकेंडरी मिरर सो दिस इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग टेलीस्कोप ओके इसके एडवांटेजेस पढ़ लेना फॉर एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल टेलीस्कोप द मिरर अफोर्ड्स सेवरल एडवांटेजेस ओवर द ऑब्जेक्टिव लेंस तो ये हो गया रिफ्रैक्टिंग टेलीस्कोप राइट क्योंकि यहाँ पे रिफ्रैक्शन हो रहा है ये हो गया रिफ्लेक्टिंग टेलीस्कोप तो वट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ रिफ्लेक्टिंग ओवर रिफ्रैक्टिंग अ मिरर इज इजियर टू प्रोड्यूस विथ अ लार्जर डायमीटर सो दैट इट कैन इंटरसेप्ट रेज क्रॉसिंग अ लार्जर एरिया एंड डायरेक्ट दम टू दी आई द मिरर कैन बी मेड पैराबोलिक टू रिड्यूस फेरिकल एबरेशन एबरेशन इज फर्दर रिड्यूस बिकॉज पैसेज थ्रू वन लेयर ऑफ ग्लास इज एलिमिनेटेड तो रिफ्रैक्शन में पैसेज होता है एबरेशन ज्यादा होता है उसको इतना बड़ा बनाने में ज्यादा एफर्ट लगता है मिरर में कम लगता है सो दिस इज इट तो राइट नाउ यू नीड टू डू दीज थिंग्स 
सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप वो तो कर लिया था ना तुम लोगों ने ओके सो कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप नियर पॉइंट और इन्फिनिटी का डेरिवेशन एंड रिफ्रैक्टिंग टेलीस्कोप इसका भी नियर पॉइंट और इन्फिनिटी का डेरिवेशन ठीक है ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर्म एड इन्फिनिटी ऑब्जेक्ट इज फॉर्म एट नियर पॉइंट एंड नॉट जस्ट दिस आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट मेक कंप्लीट चैप्टर गुड नोट्स पुट ऑल द फॉर्मूले एट वन प्लेस पुट ऑल द डेरिवेशन एट वन प्लेस in fact right now when you derive this derive it in that way only uh, where you can learn how to derive it and then send the pdf to date sir by the night somewhere take a couple of hours theek hai with this the chapter is complete we'll do practice after this cool okay i have already sent the document right yesterday cool next all right what start wave optics or ac or let's do wave let's do wave finish it it should not take a lot of time i'll also send you a video just now uh have a look at that video cha or should we watch it right now together it'll be like 5 6 minutes watch it now. now watch it now okay so let me open that Share sound, optimize for video clip. Mozilla. The video that we are watching is for wave optics, by the way, to create a base of wave optics. What is light? What is light? Light is what? Light is what? What is light? That's a good question, isn't it? Oh, uh, is the video clear? Little choppy, right? Okay. And what about uh, audio? Is the audio clear? Yeah, audio is fine. What is light? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it an element? Um, light is brightness, I guess. We have auras. We all have auras. Which are light? <laughs> yes, they are. It lights up the room. It makes it not dark. What's the difference between blue light and red light? The color. It goes in your eyes and then you see stuff. They range from white to red to orange to green. It's like the chakras of your body. Can you see my aura? Uh, no, not particularly right now. Is it too bright out? It's very sunny out here today. Does that make it harder to see someone's aura? Mm, not necessarily. If I was to explain it to a blind person, <laughs> right? Yeah. It would be it would be the difference uh, you see nothing whatsoever as a blind person whereas i see things in front of me to be fair the question of what light is is not an easy one for centuries the greatest minds in science debated this issue in the late 1600s newton proposed that light was a stream of particles or corpuscles he proposed this in his treatise optics but at the same time a dutch physicist named huygens proposed that light was a wave and this debate raged on until it was settled by the experiment I've recreated today, Thomas Young's double slit experiment. To make sure I got the experiment right, I went to the original source. With the help of Brady Heron, I managed to get into the vault underneath the Royal Society in London. There I found Thomas Young's handwritten notes from 1803. I brought into the sunbeam a slip of a card, about 1 30th of an inch in breadth, and observed its shadow, either on the wall or on other cards held at different distances. Besides the fringes of colors on each side of the shadow, the shadow itself was divided by similar parallel fringes of smaller dimensions. Wow. This is an experiment so simple that you could make it at home. 
and yet so fiddly that I have never seen it before done with sunlight. I was thinking about doing it in a box, like a like a fridge box. And you could take it out on the street. Taking it out on the street. Could I possibly interview you guys for about a minute? We're doing a science experiment. What I have here is an empty box. Mm -hmm. And this is a little eyepiece where we can look in, and this is a hole. And I'm gonna place this slide above that hole. And if you look closely, you'll see that there's two openings. Very yep. narrow openings side by side. It's you saw the two slits. So it's a black paper with two slits through which the light can pass. And two slits are very close to each other. Did you see that? It's a double slit. Now before we have a look, we need to tilt it towards the sun a little bit. So mm -hmm. we want the sun to hit this double slit directly. What are we going to see on the bottom well, of the box? The obvious thing you, you think you're going to see is you're going to see two, two lines. Two lines on the bottom of the box. And two bright bands. Two little lines. Linear. Yeah. I think it'll be one, one line instead of two. I could expect to see the whole box lit up. It'll probably be a kaleidoscope of some sort. A bunch of colours. Probably, yeah. Rainbow, different colours. There, have a look. You expected to see kind of one line. Is that what you see? No. I see dots. How many? It's one circle. Well, there's one, there's one in the middle strongest, two either side. The two on the outside are multicolored, and the one in the middle is just white. It's kind of a rainbow. The rainbow of color as well. Quite a few colors and lots of little dots. Like there are more dots appearing. I think I can even see more dots spreading along. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I can see tons of dots now. Not tons, but I can see dots spreading across uh, that way. Either side. Yeah, definitely. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's incredible. And that's just... Okay, so you saw that there were two slits. Ideally, light should have gone and created those two lines inside. But it did not create those two lines. Instead, it created various circles. Right? Why that is created is what we're going to study in wave optics. Of interference. Nothing else apart from two slits. Two slits. That's incredible. But all we're doing is we're putting a light through two very narrow slits side by side. So how does this make any sense? There's some kind of principle involved in that I'm, the average person is not familiar with. That's the only explanation. No, I'm really confused by it, but I I'd like to find out why. People were debating, is light a wave or is it made of particles? So what causes that? Well, if light were behaving as particles, you would expect them to go through each slit and just produce a bright spot underneath. So we would see two bright spots on the bottom of the box. But if light's behaving as waves, then the wave from one slit can interact with the waves from the other slit. I've got a demonstration here on a little pond where we can see this with water waves. I have two sources of ripples, which are basically like the two slits. When I create ripples with a single source, they travel out with circular wave fronts. Nothing particularly surprising there. But if I add a second source of ripples, then we start getting an interesting pattern. This pattern is created by the ripples from the two sources interacting with each other. Where they meet up peaks with peaks and troughs with troughs, the amplitude of the wave is increased. That's what we call constructive interference. But if the peak from one wave meets up with the trough from the other, then we get destructive interference and there's basically no wave there. And this is exactly what was happening with the light. When the light from one slit met up peaks with peaks and troughs with troughs, they constructively interfered and produced a bright spot. But if the trough from the wave from one slit met up with the peak of the wave from the other slit, they would destructively interfere and you wouldn't see any light there. It's light cancelling itself out. This is basically the same as like having two drops of water fall in a swimming pool. That's right. Exactly the same pattern. And then pattern. they go and overlap. As this ripple over overlaps with those ripples, yeah. down the bottom, you get a series of, you get like a bright spot, and then a dark spot, and then a bright spot, and then yep, a dark yep. spot, and then a bright spot. Now there's a slight complication, which is that sunlight is composed of many different colors, and they have different wavelengths. So obviously they're gonna meet up at slightly different points. And that's what caused the rainbowing effects as we go further from the central maximum. So you saw the ones to the right were slightly colored. Yeah, that's because the reds are gonna meet up 
at different places than the blues. And that's all that makes the color difference is the different wavelengths. Exactly. That's amazing. So the difference between so the red so and blue. So that red bin over there and the green, yeah. the green part are just, I'm, I'm seeing it's that and it's just different, different wavelengths. And that's how we bring in all these beautiful colors all around us. Exactly. That's amazing. I'm, I'm amazed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good on you. Thanks, babe. Hey, thank you. I have been enlightened, literally. <laughs> <laughs>